What's going on guys? Kwasi here for Kwasi Media and Kwasi Animation Studio. <coughs> Today, I'm going to show you how to mix animations. So, with that being said, I'm going to come over here and turn my volume down for the music because it's too loud on my side for me. Now, with that being said, we're going to bring in a Xenoverse 2 model. And when I say mix animations, I literally mean what I'm saying. Mix animations basically to blend or mesh them together. Now, the problem here is, is now we're gonna at least need three different animations. We're gonna need an idle animation, along with a primary action and a secondary action, okay? Now, these can be, now, the reason why you need at least one idle animation is to have a transition point, okay? Because it's better to transition from the idle to the action. Okay, so we could start at the action or store from the idle to the action, then back to the idle. But again, it's, it's a shifting. So I'm going to uh, delete that collection and I'm going to a pin. I do not link. I just tend not to do that. Okay, so I'm going to bring in a character. I guess I will use one of my characters from uh, my series Rise of the Derulians over on Quasi Media Network. Uh, Crimson is who I'm going to use. Let's go to Crimson. And yeah, all right. Um, I won't say it's red too. Let me make sure because yeah, no, I don't think it's red too. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, it's definitely not red too. All right, I think it was just red. One way to find out if her mouth is not colored, then I know for a fact that it's not red too. Oh, okay, it is even though it's horribly done. All right. I know you might say, what does that have to do with anything? I don't know, I'm just, I'm just anti that way. Okay, let's see, yep, ooh. Oh, that's different, okay, hold on. Let me fix that, that should not be that high. All right, all right. Okay, so, I'm gonna bring in the animations. Now I'm gonna use animations that are specific to these this model type. Now I have this character broken down into three parts. The main parts that I'll use for the skeletal mesh, and I mean the armature, the face, I mean uh, the mouth bones, and the eyelids. However, we're probably not gonna be messing with any of that, just this portion, okay? So let's go and find the animations we want. I'm going to bring them in as FBXs, okay? So I'm gonna go into my animations. Got default, character animations, nope. Uh, I'm sorry, wrong thing. I'm gonna go into my character models, assets, animations, and we're gonna go to base animations. And I'll use what I'm gonna do is come into common and I have FBXs. And as you will see, there are a lot of them. Okay. Now, most of these are general animations, like for instance, uh, that come from the actual um, game itself. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is bring in something where there has to be a transition So we're gonna find something that that'll make sense. Okay. I don't think I'll use that. Let's see here Hmm. Not too mad at that. That's not too bad. Let's see As a matter of fact, I got an idea Yep I'll bring this one in. Now, the downside to this is, is chances are it's gonna drop on top of her mesh, which, I mean, on, into her collection. Okay, it didn't, all right. So let me create a second collection just for those, uh, what you call them, gonna call it animations. All right, so I'll just grab all of this and then drop it here. All right, so get rid of that because it's not gonna do anything with that. All right, now, since this is actually in the shape of the actual character, which is funny because they actually have the ear bones, uh, I'm gonna play the animation. And he's he's reversed, let me flip him around. All right, so, okay, so that's the animation. All right, let's see how long it is. All right, cool, 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 cool. So it's over 400, that's fine. All right, I'm gonna turn off that, uh, to keep it as a fake user, I'm gonna turn the fake user off. So even though she doesn't have a tail, she could stand this way, all right? All right, so this is just this general standing animation. As you clearly see, I, some of it is chopped down. 
I, I believe this is the one that I chopped down because I didn't want the, the face rubbing. I just wanted them to stand there. All right. So because the animations and the bones are basically all the same, I mean, the bones are basically all the same, I can directly clip her to it. Now, as you see, she shot up to the roof. We're going to hit shift and then it's going to drop everything down. So I'm just going to close the legs and the shoulders because I tend to use everything from the head, uh, the B head, not the G head. G is uh, basically for the camera. So the bone head all the way up to the base. So I clearly see that the base, we're going to show you where the base is. The base is here, as you can see, because I put the cursor there, right? Excuse me. So I'm, I want the cursor, I want it to be, I want the base to be where the cursor is. And then I'm going to take the pelvis and I'm going to bring it down. All right. So even though clearly it's going to, it's going to change its uh, placement here shortly. See? So how do I switch that out? I'll show you. We're going to go into, I forgot to create my uh, graph. So I'm going to create a graph and split this in half, graph editor. Okay, so, all right. I'll, now, uh, let's see here. I don't know why. Oh, oh, never mind. Boop, boop. Okay. So let's select her, shoot over to her. I'm gonna push one because I wanna be to the front. All right, now, <clears throat> I'm hitting the period key on the numpad for those of you that don't know. On your number pad, if you're using a laptop, um, you should be able to emulate it by holding the function button. Uh, if not, then uh, figure out your manufacturer setting to change we, uh, to change how that works. Unless you have a keypad, like on my particular laptop, I have a numpad and I can hit uh, the period key. All right, so let me go ahead and do the same thing I did over there. All righty then, let's see. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna close out those bones. All right, so now I want to change the location of the actual uh, base. All right, so there are a lot of externals here. These are all mostly the tail pole stuff. And as you can see, it looks chaotically crazy. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is go up here and go to only select the curve. And then uh, after I do that, then I'll go over here to, cause I want to select this particular bone, right? Okay, so I know it's on the Y location and then I'm gonna pick the Y and then I'm gonna move it. Okay, see how it's moving him also? So for the sake of it, I'm gonna click two, this way it doesn't move him. I'm just gonna uh, change the, uh, what's the thing called? I'm sorry, I, I made a new iteration of it, or a new action, okay? So now when we press it, they both stand in the same spot, all right? So it should have adjusted it to 60 frames a second, all right? So I'll turn this off. You see clearly the bones are gonna disappear. So now she's standing the same way that Beerus would stand, or Beerus does stand, all right? So now I wanna make this, I wanna adjust this to another, I wanna adjust another animation on top of that. So now we're gonna go to the NLA, I'm going to push down, push hers down, okay? Because she's now using it, all right? And then I'm going to delete him, period. I'm just gonna go ahead and just delete him, force delete. Okay, now, come in and close this because we wanna use the animation. All right, and then I'm gonna bring in another FBX. Oh, well, hold on, let me clean up, Let's purge the action. Because now when I go in here, hers is still there because she's using it, okay? So, uh oh, my bad, I messed up. All right, so now when I come back into the NLA, what I wanna do is, is I'm gonna hit this, I wanna go to the strip, I wanna rename this Crimson um, uh, Pose One. Let's just say Pose One, all right. So now it's named Crimson Pose One. I know that if I go back into my animation tab and I was to open this animation, it's not gonna say that. So I'm gonna call this Crimson Pose One also. All right, just for organizational, purposes to make sure that nothing is out of context all right so now the next part is to bring in the next fbx okay so i'm gonna reason why i bring in the fbx is instead of appending it because i just want to use a specific so i want to do specific actions okay so we were just doing standing now i want her to go from standing to running but i need her to put her arms down so i need a normal stance okay so i think i have one for female all right so it doesn't make a difference all right so the, uh, I want to make sure. So we want to test. We always want to look and pay attention to, let me change the rotation on this. All right, so we want to change 
we always want to change the uh, stance. Okay, so I'm sorry, I said stance. I'm trying to think of words, man. Yeah, pardon me. Okay, so all right. So to transition, we want to transition between one pose to the next pose. Okay, and even if you're playing a game, that's what happens. It transitions, even though it's quick. So it trans transitions quickly. Okay, so since in her L let's go to the LLA. I'm going to pause this. I mean, uh, stash it by turning it off so it stashes it. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over. I'm gonna turn this off again because I don't want that on there. I'm gonna click her bones and then I'm gonna go to that stance. Okay, so now that stance is set up. Now we're gonna go back to the graph again. I'm gonna undo her thing. I'm gonna hit base. All right, come back down. Clearly know that it is on the Y. We're gonna hit A to select all and then hit the period key. Go back to the front and then we're gonna adjust it. All right, so again, we already know clearly that, cause I hit new action, but I mean not new action, I hit this where it says the three, the number display for the amount of users. I'm gonna click it again, so now it's for her. And I'm gonna say crimson pose two. All right, so now we have crimson second pose and we're gonna adjust it where now we have her feet on the ground. Okay, so now it's adjusted. So now she is in super saiyan three pose. All right, now, so we're gonna look at that without everything off. And now she's a Super Saiyan 3 pose. Okay, so now we have our poses set up. We already know what we want to do. Now, I advise that you take, you do these poses external to your scene. Do not do all of this in your scene. So if you have a scene you want to set up, and I'll do that, I'll show you what I'm saying. Okay, so best way to do it is I need to save this, right? So I'm gonna go, just give me a second. Um, I'm trying to think about where I put this stuff. Because I do not remember. Oh, here we go. All right. So, and I'll go, um, mm. I always give iterations now, like put a dot one or something. Okay, so now, this way, now when I come in, I can go two, and then I can create a scene where we can make these things, we can adjust the animations. The reason why I do it in a separate thing is like, if you were to do, your animations, uh, if you were working on some project with a, uh, through a pipeline or something, you would animate, of course, in a particular scene. But let's say you had already done pre-done animations, right? Something that you won't know that you wanted to use in a scene, okay? So you set up certain poses, you got everything blended well, mixed and ready to go. You would just go ahead and drop those animations in there. You would just put the layers on there and then you would go from there if you need to do your blending. Okay, so I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna set up now what I was saying, all right? Okay, so we have that set up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm come in again, I'm gonna push it down. All right, so that one's set, okay? Again, now this is our transition pose, okay? Pose two is our transition pose. I'm gonna turn it off also. So now I'm gonna take the other armature and I'm gonna delete it, okay? So now again, reason why I go in and do a cleanup and purge it is because I don't want anything uh, to create, all right? I don't want anything to create any sort of issues. Okay, so one thing I wanna do is turn that off, definitely. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna bring in another FBX. FBX. Now I'm not sure what I want in particular to do. So what I'm thinking about doing is finding some sort of skill animation. So go into advanced, do this. Is it one of those? Mm. Trying to think about what I have. Yeah, this is a transition to the guy fist. All right. Okay, so I use super guy fist. Clearly, it's ready to rock. All right, so this is just like okay. There's several animations for this. All right. So that's the second part, not the first part. So let me go to the. I want to say it's the first part. Like, let's see it from the side, click the bones, press play. 
all right so that's that's the person that is being thrown backward all right okay so let me go again I turn that off I'm gonna turn this one off and that one off all right so boom all right okay so now because again I wanted to do that and then I wanted to trip by the time it gets to this point I want to transition. I want the character to transition back to the beer's position. But now, however, when I say when I say stuff like blending, you see where this character is here. So if the character goes from here to there, right? So let's go back. And the character just suddenly just jumps up, boom, and just goes to go to that. The thing I want to happen is for the character to stay here. Okay. But we're clear to see that it's now let's come in here and I'm gonna show you what I'm saying. Okay, so the base bone. You see where the base bone is? So what I would do is what I did just now, shift S2, okay? So that's uh, cursor to select it. And then, because the character, because these def these animations have a default on them, they're gonna snap back to the original position. Even if you, every time you bring in a new animation, all right? So what I wanna do is make sure that that doesn't happen by uh, uh, moving the location. So I would go in and physically move the location by hand. All right, so again, we're gonna go in and do the same thing we did before. This time we're gonna hit three again. Go into the graph, select everything because I don't want a problem. All right, come on thing. Oh my goodness, I forgot. Just gonna zoom in real tight on that. All right, okay, so go to the front. All right, now come up here. We already know, again, the Y location. All right, click, click, boom. Bring it on down because I want our feet on the ground. Alrighty then. There we go. So now when I come back to the layout, turn everything off, snap back to the beginning. All right. Okay. So now this is the deal. Now this is the next thing that I'm looking at, right? Okay. So there we go. All right. So since I gave her her own thing, we're going to go Crimson Pose 3. All right, so this is the action that we clearly know that we want to keep and maintain. All right, so now I'm gonna come in and push it down. All right, so since we have three animations already ready to go, now what I'm gonna do is come in and I'm gonna delete this hierarchy. Because now what I'm going to do is create a second. But since we did it in an iteration, now I'm gonna go in and save as, and I'm gonna click the plus button. Now we have the animations.2, save as. I'm gonna turn the animations off. And I'm gonna add in something. I'll just say set because I want to create. Uh, and we're gonna go cinema because we're gonna look at this through a camera's eye. All right, and then I'll even go as far as say lighting, but I'm just gonna use a sun lamp. I'm not gonna do anything advanced over the top. All right, so I'm gonna click crimson. Do all of the all the pretty stuff. I'm gonna bring this down because I don't need this up anymore. All right, so when I say sit, just gonna add a plane, press 30 and control A and I'm gonna go ground. All right, again, I'm assuming that you have some sort of knowledge of Blender, so when you see me do certain things, I expect you kind of know that if you don't, leave a comment and I will explain. All right, <laughs> excuse me. All right, so now, mm, mm, let me see, is that animation still in there? Yep. So I'm gonna add another character, and that character is going to do the action, the opposite action, and I think I'll use a default character. No, no, I won't. I'll use somebody that I've used before. It's uh, Aleron, I'll use Aleron. All right, so Aleron's in the building. Get this, turn it off. I'm gonna get rid of that. All right, one, two, three. Not sure why that's like that. All right, cool. All right, so now, I'm going to we'll rotate him back, all right, push him back. Now, I'm gonna give him this animation because that's the animation, oh my goodness, hold on, wait a minute, <laughs> 80 degrees, okay. Because that's gonna be the animation that's gonna do the thing, okay? So since her since this animation is off, I'm gonna turn it on real quick because I wanna see something. All right, so, because I need this location to be there. All right, so we're gonna bring, let me go up above. All right, because again, we're staging here, right? We'll make sure that it's staged properly. Four. Good 
because this is supposed to be against the face. Yeah. Boom, clap. Get your face smashed, Elrond. Get your face smashed. All right. Okay, so uh, it's cool that his legs going through because we're just we're, he's there for support. He's not there for any other reason. All right, so since Crimson's our main, I'll leave her where she is. All right, so we have a ground. Uh, I'm gonna add a camera. All right, let's see what our time is. 20 minutes that's it oh my goodness i thought it was longer than that all right okay so zoom in a little bit come up here to view click camera all right like camera to view all right so yep all right that's set up okay hit save now i'm going to come into the render view and go to lighting and we're going to put in a sun lamp all right, come over here and go up 30 because I'm doing an animation. I'm gonna bring in all that. I'm gonna pretty it up. All right, make this three. Bring this down a little bit. All right, so turn this off because I want to see some stuff. See what we got. So now I'm going to go back into the camera because I want to catch that way that the light catches up. Alright. Slide back a little bit. Matter of fact, make this 35 millimeter. 35, 35 millimeter. Alright. Okay, cool. Alright, so that is done. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to go into the animation tab because I can still deal with my graph editor. I have it set up like this. So this is my own custom setup. Alright. Because the original one doesn't come in like this. All right, so um, I guess I'll leave the camera like it is. The name, what it's named. Okay, so I'm gonna come up to Crimson, and the first thing I want to do is start with her. Because I'm gonna turn Aleron off real quick. So I'm gonna start with her animation where she's standing. Boom. Okay, and we know we want to transition to the other one because everything that's on top is what's gonna take over. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna turn these off for a second. I'm gonna grab them and then I'm just gonna drag them down. Alright. Because I know I don't want it to stay that way too long. I just wanted to just kind of transition. So at about let's say 30 frames, because this is at what 60, right? So yeah, so it's 60 frames a second. So mm, one second, 60 frames. Alright. And I'll grab the second pose. Then the way I moved that was Control shift four and it moves the selected uh, strip. Okay, so I'll turn this on, clearly knowing that that's happening like that, but it's instant, right? So I don't want it to be instant. So since I said this for this to be at 60 frames, what I'm gonna do is, again, I'm gonna turn this one off. I'm gonna hit Y and I'm gonna delete the rest of this, okay? So I'm gonna bring this particular animation down, all right? And then I'm gonna click both of these and hit shift T. Okay, my bad, are they too close together? All right, and then hit Shift T. Okay, so now there's a transition between the two of them. All right, all right, so now it switches, right? So it switches, and then we know she's gonna go X amount of distance. So I know that at 60, I'm gonna add uh, 20 frames, I guess. So yeah, so let's say, well, from the start of this, which is roughly at 80. So let me push this forward one frame. Ah! Okay, I don't know what I did there, but all right. All right, so uh, 100, 110, 120. So yeah, let's say 120. All right, so I'll turn on the other one and I'll push it down to here. So I know I want this to transition at that time. So again, I'm hit Y. I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna push this back a little bit, bring it down. Okay. So again, we're gonna click this one, hit Control T, and we'll give ourselves a transition point. But I kinda of want the transition to be fast, so it's like, boom, right? So here we go, uh, wham, and then she's done. All right, so 
I already know that the transition is roughly between 120. Like, you see how it doesn't, like, push in? Like, her arm is not, like, adjusting accordingly. Like, it's just... Because the thing is, is that's how the animation really works. So when people think that you don't, you never see the character swing because of the camera action, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna play camera action. So we're gonna play with the camera here shortly. All right. So I know that's how, how that's set up. So I'm gonna go to Alaron real quick. I'm gonna click him. And I'm going to select everything here. And no matter of fact, no, I'm gonna push this down because this animation should already be set up. All right. So I know here is when it's it's just it, it's gonna be boom right there, right? So, all right. So click him, boom. All right. So do 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 boom. Ah, right. Damn. All right. So we see. Yeah. 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 All right. Ugh. She flips, he flips, <laughs> but he doesn't keep going, okay? Because there is an animation after that, but nonetheless. We just want to see her so now that we have it set up now you see clearly this is how everything is you see clearly all of these strips have a transition point so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to give him a an animation prior okay so i'm going to give him one also now the funny part to it is is i'm going to give him the super saiyan 3 pose okay so click now he has super saiyan 3 pose again he is facing the direction he's facing so i'm going to change his direction through uh no 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 let me push this down all right so okay this is what's going to be funny about this because i don't want to i don't want to <laughs> excuse me <coughs> So I know I have his switch count selected. Excuse me. So I bring him up because he's using. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. I'm gonna adjust that because I don't want this to mess up anything. Because I don't want hers to be readjusted, and I think it will be. Yeah, so they're both standing the same way. So, like, I like that from the front. See how she just drops? Boom! She drops right into it. Okay. So I'm going to go back into the NLA. I'm going to delete this one and then drop that one because that's the readjusted version of it. And go back into the graph editor, go to the front. But I need him to be turned around. So I'm going to go back into the graph, adjust, come in here. What? Oh, it's not open. Let me open it. All right. Okay, so I needed to be turned around. The problem is I don't. It's, 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 it's going to do this weird twisting thing that it does. See, like here, that's where it's at. Okay, so if I, all right, let me let me show you what I'm saying. All right, so we're going to go to the front. I'm going to grab his location on the Z, all right? And this is going to, this should, uh, is it a Z location? Yeah. So it's, this is, would adjust his position on where he would move forward or backward. So we're moving forward. All right? Okay. And then I will come over here to the wide rotation. The reason why I'm making it smaller is because for some reason it takes forever to turn. All right. So I turned him. So this is just a minor adjustment to turn him around. Let me go above because it's difficult sometimes to notice how direct it is. Okay. So now watch when he plays. All right, so I made the adjustment. Okay, now I'm gonna close this out, come back into animation. He's facing her. Now I want this to be a transition here. So again, we know clearly this is gonna switch out right here. So I'm gonna hit Y, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna bring this down. But there's no, this is gonna be a very direct transition for him. So it's boom. Right, so it's like, cause he's gonna drop down to that location. We can clearly see one, two, so he snaps to that location. Okay, so what I want to do is have him drop into a stance. 
Um, matter of fact, we're not even gonna deal with him. We just want to deal with her, cause again, we just we just want to show how to transition. So hers are the ones we care about. Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and finesse with uh, his. All right, so go into the camera. I want to be a little bit tighter. Let me make sure this is locked, cause it's not. Okay, make sure this is a little bit tighter. So again, I'm gonna go to her face. Zoom up to her face. I'm gonna get real tight. It's gonna be a, a below. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm gonna go just to 50. I'm sorry, I didn't make an adjustment. Here we go. Go to 50. I'm gonna transition around her face. I'll do it again. Let me go ahead and put the lock on. Oh, it didn't go to 50, it went to 51. All right. So let's look at what that looks like. I'm gonna select all of that, hit Control I, and we're gonna do Easy In. So I already know it's about to transition. So as it's transitioning, it's transitioning. So I'm going to transition. And our head goes down, and it's like, I'm thinking like doing something like this. Ooh, I like that. Right, so I'm finessing to the point where I'm almost on that because I want to snap over. All right, so I'm just trying to find that location because I know it's going to transition. All right, so yeah, yeah, all right, do it again. Do not forget to save if you were working on this, like you know, yeah, so we know it's making an adjustment. All right, so now I'm going to snap out. This is gonna be a fast reserve. Whoa, okay, so I, I know I don't want, I know I want this to be kind of almost transition-like. So I'm gonna go to right, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna push this forward to there. Push this almost right up on top of that. All right, so it's like, boom, right? And we're gonna follow it. I'm gonna follow it, follow it. Right. So let me look at it again. Oof. I feel like it's a little too fast. So I'm gonna push it back a little bit. Oh no. It's why. All right. Let me see what it looks like. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then we get this shoot around. Right. And then she lands. So again, I'm gonna click her face. We're gonna zoom in on her. I'm gonna pull back a little bit because now I'm gonna go to to her front. So let's see how badly that worked. All right. <laughs> Look, just see see how poorly that worked. All right. Okay. So the first thing I messed up on is I need to delete this. Okay. This is gonna zoom in on her, and then we'll do a pullback. So again, here we go. Zoom in on her. Okay. And then, all right. And then I'll snap around to her. So let me make sure this is. All right. There we go. And then and she's snapping to the thing. So I want this on want 240. All right. And then again, I'm going to zoom in on her face. So there we go. Now let's come into, all right, hold on. Cause 280 is the end, so I'll make it 300 frames. Push back to the beginning. I'm gonna push the camera down. If I wanna make adjustments, I can just go into it and edit it later. All right, so the ground, I'm gonna give it a tone. I'm gonna do this right here, cause I don't want it to have that sheen on it. So I'm gonna bring this up, bring it down. And I'm gonna go um, 0 0.6. All right, I'll bring it up a little bit. little sheen on it all right there we go all right okay so the sun is too dim to me so let's break this let's brighten up the day 12 all right there we go so yeah see how fast that was boom <laughs> so the end shot right so there you go your transition 
Now, if I was going to do this with her, like a good example right here, uh, let's go into the thing. I'm going to come into her bones and I'm going to, it's funny because this part right here where her head is, I can make an adjustment to it. So we're going to make an adjustment to her head when she goes into the Super Saiyan 3 pose. So I'm going to come in here and see where it's at. So yeah. All right. So roughly at 80, it transitions and her head is down. I don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here again. I got to unlock all this. Don't forget to save. I'm going to click her neck. Okay. And then I'm going to open this up. So I already know that the neck is, is, is here. So what I want to do is I want to change the transit, the rotation of her neck on the X. Okay. So I'm just come out of here and go to her neck. Let's see. Let's make sure that the rotation is what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. So come in press this whole shift. All right, and I'm not going to hold shift anymore. I'm just going to pull it up. All right. So now I'm going to do the same thing for her head. I'm going to select everything, make sure it opens up. I'm going to hit X. I'm going to push her head up because I want her looking at him. All right. So now she's going to be looking up at him. Let me see something real quick. It may be too high up. All right. That's cool. Now close it out. It's going to stay that way the whole time. Boom. Okay. So there we go. So making adjustments to little stuff like that will definitely change the way that your animation looks. All right. So now we come in. <laughs> so just like that, right? Okay. So because we're doing this like this right here, we're going to do a viewport render. So I'm going to hit, cause mine is hotkey. So how you do a viewport render, you go to view and then you say viewport render animation. I have a hotkey on it for F10. So since there's no, um, location set on it i'm going to go over here and i'm going to come to my thing i don't want to mess anything up so i'm going to go into this video file and since there are iterations of that i'm just going to say video file all right and then i'm going to accept because i don't want it to go anywhere random I'm going to hit f10 let's see how fast it renders three four five so it's not too bad so we're going to we're going to see a, a, a full playback on it even though it is 300 frames but nonetheless, like I was saying, one of the biggest things you want to do is, is get used to the NLA editor. And there are way more tricks that you can use. But the thing is, is that's with any program. A lot of people will sit here and try to uh, uh, argue to death about what's better and what's better, what does what better and what does this better. And to be all in all truth, it comes down to the artist, 100% to the artist, like just period. Because if it was really about the software, then um, Blender has proven itself. Uh, I'm not one of those, uh, I'll even go as far as say it's Blender cult types, like where I'm running around here going, oh, it's all about Blender. I'm like, no, like it's about whatever it is that you choose. So if you choose something else other than Blender, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Like completely fine. But don't make it seem as though uh, using Blender is less or using Maya is more a Cinema 4D or uh, 3S Max or uh, whatever. Um, every tool is as good as its user. I've seen stuff that come out of Blender that makes stuff I've seen come out of Maya look like nothing. But then I've seen stuff come out of Maya that makes stuff come out of Blender look like nothing because it came down to the artist, not the software, period. So again, we're at 133 frames. And again, this is a viewport render, so it's not like doing all of those over the top technical things. But nonetheless, this is how you would blend animations. Now, this is not about making your own animations because I, I have a video for that. I mean, it's already there, so you go check that out below. Um, one of the biggest issues that I've run into is figuring out how to transition animations and uh, have an episode coming out well it's either coming if you're watching this video before wednesday of the 8th of december or after if you're watching it after there's an episode on the main channel on the quasi media network uh i have a video coming out for that if it hasn't already dropped showing me animate a scene for my series versus um i use dragon ball xenoverse 2 model parts the parts from the from it but i but it's not a dragon ball series um it's not anything for the series it's it's not a parody 
I just use those models because I don't model. I mean, this is why I use things like Human Generator, why I use Make Human, uh, because I don't model characters. I'll model an environment, but I'm not going to model characters. It just takes too long, man. Uh, with that being said, we're almost at the finish here, and we're going to see it play back in, like, at, at its fastest pace. And this is at 60 frames a second, so this is way faster than what I would usually render something out at. Uh, but... I just I'm just doing it at the frame rate of the animations because the animations by default from out of Xenoverse 2 are 60 frames a second. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna rock here. Again, you have any questions? You have any qualms? Have any anything? Uh, just you know, holler at me. Just ask questions. Alrighty then, so we're done. Okay, so let me get this right. I'm, I was sending a message, I'm sorry. All right, so now let's look at the playback. So again, you wanna see the playback without going into the video files, go to view and then hit view. I'm sorry, go to render and go to view animation or you can hit control F11 and it'll play it back. right so that's how that works and this is what happens a lot of times is the things have camera tricks so that's how you transition in your animations i think i love that shadow those shadows are cool no lie okay so yeah and again making adjustments to animations figuring out the proper locations it's just a matter of seeing what you're trying to do and where you're trying to do it at not there's no rhyme or reason to it a lot of times you find people uh, trying to make it seem more technical than it really is and i have a buddy of mine a boy uh, tt casanova old josh out there he, he said something the other day i thought was amazing he was like people think it's difficult till they start and then you realize how easy it is the thing is it's just problem solving and i've heard this a lot of times you say it's problem solving i'm like let me let me bring that down a little bit more because problem solving sounds way more complicated than necessary when you're animating or you're doing things that are in it in, in, in a capacity of animation um it's really more about figuring out how you want it to look and then making that happen in the best possible way with what you have and i don't mean the program i'm saying like for instance i have two characters here and a plane okay so with this plane if i cut everything on okay and I click the plane, the plane is clicked. This is, that's my set, right? So I put set, that's my set, that's my environment. All right, so when I turn it off, the playing ground is that area. So if that's all I have to play with and I need to be able to figure out how I want the character to interact with that area, then I come up with something for that. Again, yes, the way you would say that is problem solving, but at the end of the day, it's really more about how do you do it with what you have available. And that's, yes, again, it is still the same thing. I am just bringing it down to make it seem a little bit more, seem a less imposing. With that being said, man, none but love. How's you guys later? You want any kind of particular video? Let me know. And then we'll see what we can do about that.